uh, MP Raymond Chishti, who joins me now, and he has a role as the uh, chairman of the All Party Group on Community Engagement. Um, first of all, uh, the comments from Paul Nuttall. He says that there is a cancer that needs to be rooted out of the Muslim community. What do you make about what he's got to say? Well, let me first of all say my thoughts are with the families of all those who have been affected by in this horrific, evil, tragic act. In relation to the points made by Mr. Nuttall, I would say at this point in time, we have to all come together to defeat this evil ideology and these evil individuals. And in response to that, I would say you should pay particular attention to the words of the Assistant Police Commissioner, Mr. Rowley, who said two individuals a day are being turned away from radicalization and extremism. And, they are be and that's being done uh, because members of the individual's own community are alerting the authorities in relation to their behavior. So I would say communities out there are working very hard with the local authorities to address the issue of non-violent extremism, which then leads to ext extremism. But are you saying to me more can be done with all communities around the country? And the answer is absolutely yes. And how do you do that? How do you do that? There are other people who have voiced concern that Muslim communities will feel like they're being picked on. How can they do more uh, in this kind of circumstance? Well, let me say, look, Muslim communities, like any other community around the country, have contributed at every level. But what I would say, when you have individuals like this evil individual who has carried out this act, he is, what I would say, a self-identifying Muslim. Because Muslims around the world you know, are the target of extremism and terrorism. And if you look at the figures, they've lost more more Muslims have lost their life to terrorism than any other faith in recent times. So I would say we have to put that into context. We have to look at the work they're already doing on communities and engagement. But are you saying to me tough conversations need to be had around the country when people see extremist views or, symb or uh, sympathetic views expressed um, towards terrorism or extremism? And some of that does go on in the margins of our society. And when that does go on, every individual has a responsibility to stand up, challenge it and report it to the authorities. But what I would say is there is a real problem with individuals who are converting to, to Islam. We saw the horrific killing of Lee Ridby, our brave soldier, and that was done by an evil individual who had converted to, to Islam. They do not know what Islam is. They get roped into this poison evil ideology, and then therefore we then have to make sure that our response of tackling extremism, non-violent extremism, and violent extremism by working with the communities roots it out at every level. Thank you very much indeed. So even on a day like today,